Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with Survivalist Boards. <laughs> Walking around the property looking for any trees that may have fallen during this last torrential rainfall. <sighs> These oak trees, oak trees, their roots are very shallow. You get a lot of rain for any extended... <laughs> it sounds like the dogs. Anyway, we're walking around the property and I saw a deer take off and the dogs took off after the deer. <laughs> it's illegal to hunt deer with. Uh, with dogs, we're not hunting the deer. We're just out here on a little nature walk. It's, it's fun to see dogs do what dogs do though. There's Zoe. Uh, she broke off the chase. All I saw was the white tail of the deer. Just caught a little glimpse of it. And I can hear them through there. Just doing what dogs do, guys. Some beautiful pine trees through here. Some really old pine trees. This area here gets a little flooded. What, Bubba? What, Bubba? Hmm? What you doing? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, Zoe. You see beautiful old pine trees, oak trees. I'm going to kind of thin this out a little bit. That some of the <laughs> when these trees are so close together, they can't grow very well. So I'm gonna take that bush hog through here this spring. I'll bring it through here, cut a bunch of these small trees down, leave a select few like that iron wood. There's an oak over there, leave it. And then just kind of thin this out a little bit so these trees can get their nutrients and get their sun and grow up like they're supposed to. We could tell where the water got up. See the change of the colors. Had the, it's just the mud come up through here. Got up on the pine straw. We got a lot, a lot of rain. What I'm in here doing is just looking to see if any of these big oak trees came through. Came through here and may have fallen over. Like I said, those roots to the oak trees are real shallow. You get several days, a couple of weeks of rain, and then get some high winds and sometimes these big oak trees will just fall over. So rather than letting them go to waste, we'll get in here, cut them up, use a log splitter, split them, split them up. We've got firewood. So instead of having to cut a tree down, we just let nature do its course. There's just some beautiful old, old timber in here. Beautiful old timber. Like this white oak right here. That is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think it's probably almost 30 inches across. You don't hardly see white oaks like this anymore in the south. A lot of people cut them down for firewood. Probably got, oh geez, five, six of them here on the property. There's one here, one a little bit further down, one over there, one back over there, and they're staying. Not going to cut them down. Well, the dogs are back. Remember what we were talking about, the cur dog, the other, do other video? Now, cur dog. And the male, these some type of Rottweiler, German Shepherd mix. They're the most energetic hunting instinct. Cur dog, chase that deer. Look at where the coon hound is at. He's just got a lot more mass to him. Uses a lot more energy to run, chase stuff. So he's not that good of a chasing dog. He, uh... <laughs> but whenever he starts baying, everybody knows it. So what I'm looking at here, in this part here, I didn't find any trees down, so what I'm doing is I'm looking for, this is part of my conservation effort. This little area right through here, it's a couple acres, starts out over there where we were at. In case you are wondering, the uh, little cabin is right there. We talked about some other videos, I haven't done anything with it. This is a conservation effort. Notice that I took the bush hog, I came through here, bush hog this out, I'm going to bush hog through here. This spring, I'm just out here looking, just out here looking, guys, because I want a mixture of pine and oaks in here. I've got a couple oak trees coming up nice, not real big. Got some nice size oaks over there, there. Got an oak coming up here, but also we've got these pine trees coming up. So I'm gonna come in here and probably take this small pine right here down, let that pine come up so they're not competing for nutrients. So it'll be like a oak tree over there, pine, 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 and just create a wildlife habitat in here. The creek is right over there. The creek's probably about 150 feet that away. And here's the creek. We've got everything in here for a wildlife habitat, 
except old growth timber. Once these pine trees come up, I may never see it. I may never see it. It's going to take a little while for these pine trees to come back up. For these oaks to get going real good. This all used to be timber uh, cattle land. For, uh, cows used to run through here. So this part here, a lot of these are uh, young trees. And it's been slowly growing up like this pine tree here. We want to let that one come up. All right, guys and gals, I don't see any trees down. Dogs, while they were chasing that deer, they went into the creek. You see the bottom, if Bo went into the water, we know he was in the water. Whenever they came back, you see where Ellis was at. He got in the water, Bo was in the creek, and Buster was in the creek. Some of y'all may ask, Kevin, why you got so many dogs for? Because I live in a rural area, and if somebody comes driving up around the house, up there looking around where they're not supposed to be, and with my being on the internet, throwing myself out there, being a prepper or survivalist, people may just, hey, let's go see if we find Kevin's house. Well, if you do, then your car is going to be surrounded by dogs. And then, I always keep an AR close at hand. <laughs> he is going to be one good dog. So to put things in perspective, over there, those tall pines over there, they're on the property. That's where Zoe, Bubba, and I were at. Go down, creek meanders around, and then comes up another couple of hundred yards that way, comes up and turns. I want all this from those, old, see those old growth pine trees? That's what I want, old growth pine and oaks all the way around through here. And then, like this little, this is a private road. It's right here on the farm. Not a, not a, see, it's not a county maintained road. It's not a county road. Private road. Uh, right down through there, I don't know, 200 yards or so. Creek comes around. This is going to grow up a little bit. This is where I'm hoping to have the livestock. So it's a fence that's going to come right over here. So I'm another project I'm working on this year. Get this livestock fence worked on. It's going to go right down through there. All the way through those big trees. Come around through here. Right over there. Cattle. Conservation area. So all this. And those big pine trees all the way around through here to right like just straight out through where this fence is going to be conservation area all right guys and gals i hope y'all enjoyed the video everything's going good bubba's doing good bubba why are you eating rocks for goofy dog so you may say kevin why do you want this to be a wildlife conservation area deer tracks deer tracks and that's what the dogs took off on earlier the more wildlife conservation we have in here, the more wildlife we attract. The deer, squirrels, rabbits, they're already all in here, but I want to develop a habitat for them. A better, well-defined habitat. Here's Bo do it, taking care of business. And so, then we get this wildlife in here, and it provides multiple food sources. We have our livestock. Got the chickens, the guineas, get some goats. <coughs> Maybe get some pigs. Don't know. Then we have natural small game in here and deer and sometimes pigs. We've seen I've seen pigs in here before. 